Hello everyone, and today we are going over how to install the Essentials Protect plugin. Despite the name for this plugin, not a lot of people think that this is something that is very essential to the game. However, Essentials X and Protect are something that can be very helpful for you, especially since a large part of the game revolves around playing with the other mobs, creatures, and players in the game. That's why Essentials Protect is so important, because it can help change some of the settings to protect your server. Downloading Essentials X For this, we're going to need Essentials X and Essentials Protect, both of which will be linked in the description below. Under this same page, you're going to see the Essentials X download, and you're going to click that red button to download it. You're also going to see the Essentials X Protect download and download that red button. Keep those in a safe place and then go ahead and head to your server and stop it with the red stop button. Double down on the pop-up that appears to ensure that you stop your server properly. And after just a few seconds, it will stop. What you want to do from here is scroll down to the left hand side where you see the file browser under tools. It's very similar to a Windows file browser. From here, you're going to go through the path of Minecraft bucket right in the middle there. And then in the new page, what you're also going to click is plugins. Now in this folder is where you're going to upload the new plugins that you just downloaded. Grab both the Essentials X and Essentials Protect plugins by highlighting them and then hitting open. This will instantly install those plugins onto your server and after just a few moments you'll see that they are uploaded in this file section. Head back to your dashboard, start your server back up with the green start button, double down on the pop-up to make sure that the server starts properly, and then you're good to go. Configuration Guide we won't go fully in depth on every piece of configuration that you can do with this, but I will show you a few. Head back to the tools section and click on your file browser, and then you're going to take the same path. Minecraft bucket, then plugins, and then in this plugins folder you're going to see a new folder called essentials. You want to click into this one and go deeper into the folder. Under here you're going to click the config.yml folder, and then it's going to open up this page of a bunch of different things that may seem really confusing at first. Scroll down to the 930 area, and you'll eventually see the Essentials Protect section of this page. What you want to do from here is adjust any of the settings that you find important. There's a whole big list of them, and there's a lot of them that are relatively self-explanatory, but the main thing that you need to know about is the true versus false values. For example, in this weather section, if I want to change it so that the thunder does not occur, then I need to switch the setting to true. Same with creeper block damage. Currently, it's set to false by default, so if I want block damage to actually happen, then I have to set it to true. There are many different settings out there like this, but whenever you want to change them for sure, hit the green save changes setting at the bottom, and then head back to your dashboard to start the server back up the same way as always, and then you'll be good to go. Conclusion Hopefully you found this slight intro to the Essentials X plugin and Essential Protect plugin to be very helpful. I know it seems like a lot sometimes, but there are very helpful plugins out there like this all the time. Please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so that way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time! Huh. Huh.